Yeah, it's amazing when you look at soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Coast Guard, and, and various civilians who have deployed over the last 14 years. A lot of our leaders, a lot of our heroes, have faced the crucible of combat, the crucible of being deployed. And they return home to Tacoma, they return home to this great museum of glass and hot shop for heroes, and then they heal. I was more or less trying to get out of my shell because I, I tend to isolate a lot. I just couldn't deal with people. It just, I had to just get away from everything. Yeah, I have PTSD. We, we, we're trying to get our life back together. We're trying to integrate back into society or, you know, back into the community or whatever, you know. My therapist, um, she says, Tracy, I need to find you something you'll be passionate about. And so she said, I think I found something. You have that creative mind of yours. You can, this might help. I can feel the joy. I can, I can feel the walls come down. I can feel the appreciation. They shared with us that they're very comfortable in this space. They feel safe, they feel challenged, and they appreciate the instruction. For the active duty, heat and fire is very real and recent. I face my fear, so to speak, every time. Um, that's a big deal for me, facing a fear. And even just admitting that the anxiety is there and accepting it and moving forward from it. The program basically just gives them an opportunity to do something outside of the military and I basically just want them to, you know, open up a little more and hopefully they create friendships or bonds between other classmates. It's usually the highlight of their week is coming to this program. And the wounds that our service members bring back are not what you see sometimes. They are inside. They are in the mind, they are in the heart, they are in the spirit. The mental stimulation that I get working with a team doing glass, just it's really enthralling, very invigorating. I look forward to coming here and tuning everything else out because you really do not have time to think about everything else going on in your world when you've got a pipe with, you know, 2100 degree glass on it and you've got a timeline to quickly do it and everything else just sort of disappears for a little bit and we're in a moment that is pretty amazing. There's different stages that you have to go through to get the final project. Then when it's done, you have a, a finished product that everybody worked on. It's, it's so malleable. You can create so many things that you didn't even know you could create before. It's pretty fun when you can finally figure something out that works for each person, so. I would just say that I hope they got something from it. Some sort of therapeutic aspect or pushes them in a direction just to help them heal. And that's one thing I like about being here is I like being exposed to something that I would never have dreamed of doing. You're constantly changing, just like that glass, you know. You, you need to be remolded and reshaped, and, and I used to be this big puddle of glass, melted glass, and now all of a sudden I'm a vase. You know what I'm saying? You do not need to wear a uniform to serve. There are other ways to serve your country, and all of you today that do this for our soldiers and our family members, you serve in a different way. So I'm up here today to say thank you for your service, thank you for taking care of our soldiers and families. We are honored to be part of this community, and we look forward to the next years ahead. Thank you very, very much.